All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you are safe and protected. I hope that you have repented and that you're baptized, and I hope that your life gets better and that you stay out of trouble as well along the way. Now, today's message is going to be a church note from Jen DeLeon, Torrey Roberts, and the newsletter and the email. Just got it. So this is a great way to end the week with a nice church note. It's a better way to start off the upcoming week, all right? So the title of this church note is called The Balance Talk. And the question is, are you out of balance? All right. So it's always important that we don't do things way too much or way too less. You know, we always have to uh, do things in decency and order. And the Most High really wants us to do things accordingly, all right? We can't be getting way too ahead of ourselves, or we can't be just settling, you know? That's the way we go about life a certain way. So it's very important that we do have some balance in our lives, all right? So what I would love to do is read this church note to y'all and just go from there. Are you out of balance? The balance talk. Anything that has become normal becomes difficult to detect. When we're out of balance, we don't produce well, we don't connect well, we don't do relationships well, etc., etc. Five signs of imbalance, stagnation, lack of vision, weariness, jealousy, and envy decline in your thought life. Sign one, stagnation, you feel stuck and don't feel like you can move forward. Everything in the world moves. Being stuck is unnatural. Where movement is missing, something is off. Sign two. Lack of vision. January 2022, you had a vision and the vision was so clear, you were moving towards it. Then come March, what am I doing again? Sign three, weariness. There's a difference between tired and weariness. Weariness is the gradual pull to the teramic, teramic of disaster. Sign four, jealousy and envy. When you're out of balance, you're jealous. It's easy to be jealous and envious of another person because you're not living in an environment that affirms you and you aren't enough. You are so busy doing you that you are encouraged by the success of other people. Sign five, decline in your thought life. Your thinking goes automatically to the lowest possible interpretation of a situation. Weary, you're spiritually, emotionally, physically, psychologically, and physically drained, and rest doesn't fix that. The power of no, 90% no, 10% yes. If we are unique, high intentions, then we have to be sensitive and thoughtful of what we say yes to. You can basically get schizophrenia on social media. One post makes you happy. The next makes you want to cry. The next makes you mad, etc., etc. We have to learn how to, how to take well. We can't take anything and everything that comes our way. So we can give the yes where it matters. No is important because your yes is expensive. Yes costs you your time, your energy, your money, your availability. It's expensive. If you don't have a healthy amount of no's and you are giving away your yes, when destiny shows up, you won't have the price to pay for it. You won't be able to afford what you've been praying for, what you've been working hard for, because you spent investing the currency of your yes on things that don't matter. We feel guilty saying no because we feel we aren't being loyal to that situation or relationship. The only boundary to my loyalty is is if my loyalty to you makes me disloyal to me. Sometimes you need to put a no out there to qualify the relationships that are in your life because some of your relationships only work because you say yes all the time. And that is not in a real relationship. I need to know you will love me in my yes just as much as you love me in my no. That my no does not affect our relationship if I'm saying no because I'm trying to protect the boundaries. No is about Boundaries. When you don't have boundaries, you will be taken advantage of and manipulated. When you don't have boundaries, you cannot fulfill your purpose. Sometimes you have to teach someone to respect your boundaries. You almost can't be mad at someone when you've always said yes. And when they respond negatively negatively initially, you had a part in that because you switched. Many people are self-aware, but not soul aware. In order to get to the deepest part of you, you have to be still. You have to learn to get away and get the, and, and quiet the noise, be still. If your success is driven by fear, you will never be successful enough and you will always be chasing and won't be able to rest and have peace or celebrate your achievement. Negative thinking increases protein deposits on the brain. Research, research has shown this. 
An excess protein deposit on the brain causes early dementia. Place of rest is when you live in the consciousness and mentality of, I'm not trying to get into something. I'm pursuing what I, already, what I have already. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance of my expectations. It takes more creativity and energy to get something you don't have than it does to pursue something that you know is yours already. If God was in it, all the yeses, why would he not be in that no? A lot of the times we know how to win, but we don't know how to lose. Who you are when you lose says more about who you are when you win. You master losing by mastering perspective. If God, if your yes was good enough for me, then your no should be too. You have to grieve, you have to let it out, but you can't grieve forever. When God disappoints us, it's important that after you grieve that we all have a degree of ignorance. Anytime we are disappointed, it reveals to us that we had an ignorant expectation. You realize it's just a season. What you can't see in the season is that it is just a season. And there you have it, people, the balance talk. That is the church note for this week. So, yes, this was a very reflecting note. This was a very good note, definitely relatable. A lot of us are going through these situations on daily or weekly or what have you. So let's be more balanced. Let's be more reasonable. Let's get out of our own way. Let's, you know, let's really be more sharp out here in these last days. All right. So that's that balance talk, y'all. That's the church note for this past week. So what I would like to do as we close out is give all the glory to the most half, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And prayers our only begotten son who died for our sins, all right? So here we go, y'all. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession. Amen. The arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potentate, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father. The faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahaya, Shai, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yahweh, Shai, Yeshua, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There you have it, people. We serve an awesome creator. And his son is amazing for dying for our sins as well. All right. 
So there you have it, people. That's just a church note for the week. I hope that you can apply that to your life and have a better change and better perspective on things and that your relationship with the Most High gets better and stronger and deeper as well, okay? Because these times we we got to stay more solid and firm. We got to be more strong and have more faith, all right? Push through these different things that we're all going through, all right? So there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. I pray that you repent. I pray that you start your life over. I pray that you get more wise, more strong. I pray that your heart and your soul is in a much better place. I pray that you forgive people more. I pray that you help more people as well. I pray that you let go of your past. You stop thinking about it too much. I pray that you have more open doors and opportunities to help you and others around you. I pray that the Most High gives you more resources and equips you and supplies you and, and supplies all of your needs. And I just hope that you can live more abundantly and have more joy as well. All right. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.